<laughs> Welcome back to the shop guys. I'm glad you guys tuned in today. We've got a lot to talk about. Uh, and if you're new here, well, this is the old number seven garage. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, first and foremost being the season we have had so far. Yeah, we've had highs, we've had lows, we've won races. Matter of fact, Chase and I both won two races apiece this year, and we'll take that as a blessing. Chase got his first two wins ever, and had one with his old race car. So hey, you cannot beat a deal like that, and we're grateful. We've done a lot of cool stuff this year. Hell, we pulled a car out of the woods, resurrected it, and won races with it. Yeah, can you believe it? But more on that later. Right now we're going to talk about what's next. What's going on here in the shop? Well guys, next day here, I lost all my uh, video and audio, over 20 minutes of it. Uh, thanks GoPro for dropping all the audio off that, so big shout out to you guys. Now I'm on the GoPro 9 here, and uh, just letting you see that there's no race car in the background other than Chase's. Oh Lazarus has left the building. So farewell old friend, it was good while it lasted. Well here she is guys, all loaded up, wind blowing 486 mile an hour, it's like 12 degrees. But she is uh, going to her new home. Look for this baby down towards Lake Ozark, Springfield, places like that, running USRA. Kicking some tail down there. It's a new style deal. It's got the fuel cell in the front, motor in the back. Anyway, so long, Lazarus. You've been good, buddy. Treat him good. And then that brings me to Chase's go-kart. A brand new deal for chase this is an srt chassis out of california uh, we actually went and bought a big buyout it had two go-karts engines all kinds of stuff with the intentions to sell everything we could to try to get chase into one of the go-karts and keep as many spare parts as we could so that's where we're at now and as you can see if you guys have watched any of the videos in the past this was the number two car that chase took out and practice at Doe Run. We ripped all the wrap off of it. As you can see here, me and B are working feverishly to rip this stuff off. The, uh, the heat gun done a really good job and allowed us to peel it off pretty quick. And we figured uh, we might as well get that off there so Chase can, you know, have his own identity on this car instead of racing somebody else's stuff and run his own sponsors, you know, stuff that makes sense. So we're getting this jerked right off the car and it really reveals a really cool looking carbon fiber body that this thing uses. And I also want to know what kind of adhesion promoter he used on the uh, wing because there's a lot of nooks and crannies and bends that I really want to, you know, do, use the same stuff that he did. And uh, we're actually going to have Dave, the guy we bought this from, do a wrap for Chase on this. So it's pretty cool to uh, let Dave have the uh, reins on this thing. He did a great job on his boy's uh, cart on the wrap. And uh, I thought it'd be cool just to let him give her a shot on this one. So he's actually got me a design made up already. It's looking pretty good. We're going to change a couple things on it. But uh, you guys know, especially if you're a designer of any kind, it's really hard to portray what the car is going to look like on a computer. You can't really get the colors and stuff. So he's showing me some stuff that actually it's going to have on it that I didn't even notice. So look out for the Nationator coming strong in the uh, SRT chassis. Going to be really cool. And uh, of course, we've already got um, the Harbaugh Performance Engine, Bill Harbaugh. Got that on there, ready to go. Got it all mounted up. And uh, if you didn't know what this thing is, told me a little bit about a story. But they got hit right here and broke the fuel pump and caught on fire. Well, this... When it senses a certain amount of heat, it actually admits uh, extinguisher to put out any fires. And also kind of like a barrier to keep stuff away from Chase. But uh, yeah, so that got his new seat in here, the LaJoy seat. Turned out awesome. Fits him like a glove. Tiny little seat, but tiny little guy. So, and then dad went and done the right thing. And got one for herself too. I've never had a seat that fits like these. I'm telling you, I'll, I'll leave it right here so I can set it in every once in a while. But, dude, it fits like a glove. So, big shout out to Tammy and everybody over at the Joy of Seating. That'll be the last seat I ever own. 
And Chase's seat, they have a youth program that's pretty cool. Um, that seat should last him several seasons. They build it a little big, put a little bit of foam in there around it, and they take that out as he grows, and then they resize it one more time for free for you. She says usually around five years that'll last a kid of his age. So that's pretty cool and pretty cool for dad. As you can see here, we've got a bunch of parts. Got, got the B-Mod motor back. A bunch of parts here that we yanked off of Lazarus. And what are we going to do with them? Uh, I don't know. Are they going to be up for sale? What kind of car are we getting? That's all questions I'd love to answer for you guys. And you're going to have to stick around if you want to hear those answers. But let's get back into some other things I want to talk about real quick. So one thing is um, we got a P.O. box in case you guys didn't know. And uh, this here is the address. 102 East Columbia, number 904, Farmington, Missouri. If you look down in here, there's a uh, oodles and gobs of stickers and letters that everybody has sent us. And I, I, it's totally my fault. I've been slacking here. I have not been keeping up on those and I apologize. So we're gonna get back into those. And when I say stickers and everything, we got this fridge that we uh, like to put stickers on of everybody. Of course, I got the old Too Fast 2, the cart that we just pulled the wrap off of. Throw that on there. All kinds of people. So if you're on here, big shout out to you for sending something to me. And this is just, that's actually the first car I ever drove. 99, piece of junk, 25. But what I'm trying to say is, if you guys want to send us some stickers, Chase absolutely loves stickers. He's got so many on his go-kart right now that there's no room for anything else. If you want to send us some, send us some stickers or anything in general, doesn't matter. Um, 102 East Columbia, number 904. Farmington, Missouri. That's our address. It's a P.O. box, of course. And uh, we check that pretty uh, often. But there, there's there's a lot of stuff that I need to, to bust out of there, read some letters, a lot of you guys writing in to us, and I want to include that on here. I'm going to do one right now. And uh, this is actually a, uh, um, a decking sponsor of ours. So if you guys didn't know, last year we done 50 spots, and you can put your name on the deck of the race car. And uh, that gives you just a little recognition to you, your loved one, your business. And uh, we mention it in the videos from time to time. For next year, everybody that goes on here on my car, we'll put them on your car too on top of the wing. So they get my car and your car. What do you think? Think it'll be pretty cool? Good. So we had 50 people on here this year. And a super big thanks to each and every one of y'all. Uh, we're going to do that again. Uh, returning people that are on here is going to be 60 bucks and anybody new hundred dollars and you will get uh, some merchandise with this but it will go on my car and chases we already have a list formed so while you can get on there send me a message reach out to me on facebook comment below and we'll get you on the list and uh, as you can see we can add the pink ribbons uh, we can do a lot of different stuff and put quite a lot on there even being a small spot, but if you're interested, let me know. So we're doing that again. We're going to do 100 spots this time. It'll be $60 for anybody that was on it before or $100 for any new um, supporters that are coming on there. And the one we're talking about right now is Carla and Walter from Maine. So I'm going to read a little bit about what he's got going on here. This says, Tim, thanks for allowing us to be on your car again. And uh, the same way as before is fine. We enjoy watching you a lot. We love that you are a down-to-earth driver. You and your family, it's great. Good luck to you in your last race in the stadium. Of course, he's talking about the dome race. And I asked if I ever ordered any hoodies. Uh, buddy, matter of fact, um, I told you I was gonna get you one and I got one sitting right here for you. This is actually a 3X hoodie. So it's gonna be coming your way. I know it gets super, super cold there in Maine. And it's pretty freaking cold here too, but nothing probably like that, so. Um, special shout out to Carla and Walter from Maine. And if you guys are interested in being on the sponsor panel, give us a shout, comment below, or email old number seven fans at gmail.com. Of course, I'll put that right here so you know how it spells. And uh, you can get on there. Helps us out a ton. That will be me, and that will also be Chase's cart. It'll go on both. I think we'll maybe put Chase's up here on the top wing. Haven't decided yet. Speaking of sponsors and supporters, 
You can see Chase's card is pretty much a blank slate. He will have a design and a number. And there's a couple of sponsors that are going to be on board with him. But we are currently looking for anybody that would like to be on Chase's cart for 2023. Whether you have a business or you just want to help support the Nationator, anything helps. You guys know that the way that times are these days. Um, any little bit helps. We're going to have plenty of spots to get everybody on here. We'll have spots, you know, like three or four here, a big one here, a couple here. You know, there's plenty of room for everybody to be on board. And I hope that people do decide to do that. That's going to be awesome for Chase. He's going to be a great little wheel man. I have a feeling he's going to be one to look out for. Maybe we'll shoot for a championship in 2023. Never know. The dome. Boom, boom, boom. Would I ever go back? Most definitely. I hope to get to go back next year. I hope to get an invite. That was probably the coolest race I've ever been a part of, even though I totally sucked. Started out great, and then we had problems. Uh, we had a brake lock up on the right front Thursday in the feature, and that drove me straight to the back, and I was behind the eight ball from here on out. But here's the thing. You guys right here absolutely killed it on the merchandise. You... I could have bought twice as much as I had, and you guys would have took it home with you. I had little that I know. That was, um, I've sold some stuff, don't get me wrong. I mean, we've got a lot of fans, and I love every one of you, and we've sold some stuff at the track, but nothing like that. That was the biggest three days of sale, and I got to give a big shout out and a fist bump to you all for making that possible. Holy crap. Uh, it's going to make this, this new ride we're, uh, we're picking up a little easier to grab a hold of. So we are pretty well out of everything right now. I've got some lifestyle shirts. I've got the old number seven garage logo on it. I got some of them left and that's about it. And we're not going to be able to stock up for Christmas because it's dang near here. So look, look for uh, some new Nationator merch. I told him he wins the race. I start making his shirts. And I kind of did that with a combo shirt of me and him. For the dome but once this uh wrap design is completely done we will get uh, our buddy jeff to draw us up something freaking awesome like he always does and make a shirt specifically for the nationator so look for that look for a new merch of mine and chase's coming soon got a bunch of spare parts here off the car uh, if anybody's looking for anything in particular here's what i do have i have a Speedway three-piece spindle set. That's two steering arms, two uh, brake brackets, and the actual centerpiece. I got the idler arms for your Chevelle stub. I got upper control arms from Close Racing Supply, specifically for a Shaw car. Center links. These are Burt transmission bell housing couplers. So the couplers and the flywheels. I got a brand new flywheel there. A couple in really good shape. And I actually have two of these Burt bell housings in good shape no cracks ready to go so if you guys are interested in any of this stuff you see give me a shout comment below or send an email to that old number seven fans at gmail.com but we uh, of course teamed up with our buddy jack over at brand and the gang over there we've got new bell housings new flywheels um they take care of us so good it just it makes sense to just you know return the favor and run their products so big shout out to them for supporting the team in 2023 yet again couldn't do it without them and all of our sponsors especially ones like maxima you know this 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 is like a basically like a dream come true to a guy like me to have a supporter like maxima racing oils in our corner it's awesome and chases too um but that uh supporters and and money and values of stuff brings me to another important question and topic i'd like to talk about that's these dang tires ump m30 and m60 tires not too long ago these were 125 135 dollars a piece now they're in the 200 dollars range they just went up actually this last monday and it lit a fire underneath me i am all for um racing and i'm definitely all for the small time grassroots racer that's what i am how i grew up and 
without us, you don't have racing. You got the big racing teams that are always going to have money. But if you run all of us off because of the high prices on stuff, which is happening right now, the sport is going to die. You're, you're going to lose everybody. Fans are not going to come and, you know, and, and watch. Uh, I, like I said, I am a grassroots racer. I came up, my dad quit racing in 05. His late model set for years. In 2011, I decided to get a race car and most of the parts of his late model went on my modified that were allowed. And we ran used stuff for a long time. First time I actually bought a brand new car, every nut and bolt brand new, last year. A lot of that was thanks to you guys and great sponsors. So couldn't do it without you. But what I'm trying to say is 200 bucks for a tire is ridiculous. I don't care who you are. I, I know for prices of things went up, but you're looking at 800 bucks to put new tires on your race car when you don't even win that much to win a feature. You know, you're winning six, 700 bucks if you're lucky for an AMOD feature. And yeah, that's the same price as 30 years ago. You know, people were winning five, six, 700 bucks 30 years ago. So the prices of the winning stuff hasn't went up, but the prices of buying stuff sure have. We can only take so much, guys. So drop your comments down below. What what do we do? What's what's the next step? Um, this UMP country where I'm at, can they open it up and let us run some different tires? Do we just stop buying tires and everybody just set at the house? I'm afraid if we do that, then track's gonna shut down and then we're definitely done. So <sighs> do they just name their price and we get we pay whatever we you know, whatever they say, we pay and and go on about it? Nothing we can do about it? I don't think so. I think we need to stand together and make something happen. Am I going to make some people mad? Yeah, you bet. Do I care? Yeah, I care about us having a place to race and being able to afford it. There's never money in racing. There's exceptions to every rule, but none of us make money in racing. We just hope to have fun. And sometimes that... Oh, watch him. Who did? Oh, man. Must be the UPS guy. But sometimes the fun is worth the price. But a guy can only take so much. And I'm rambling on like nobody's business. And Lucky heard a phantom delivery driver. It was just pretend. Come on, son. Oh, how'd that work for you? Also got a couple of uh, American Racer tires. Speaking of tires, I'd sell those. They're like new. 75 bucks a piece, 150 for the pair. Maybe I'll work a deal out with you. Anyway, um, so we're looking... We're looking to for open for suggestions. I didn't I don't know. I mean, we've got a giant fan base here. Thank every one of y'all for you know being on here, watching, commenting, liking the videos. So I ask you, what do we do? We need to have a voice in this stuff. It's I told most of the people that you know that I hang out with and, and help me and all that. When it gets two hundred dollars a tire for a modified tire, that little thing right there, I ain't buying them. So I almost got to stand behind that. What do you do? I'd hate to know how much, I'm assuming that sprint car, like the big tires are 300 bucks and late model tires are probably 275, I don't know. But yeah, how, how, <laughs> how can we afford this stuff? It's gotta stop, it's getting out of control. It's naming your price stuff. It's like gas, the price of gas. You gotta have it, you gotta buy it. Well. Something's got to happen. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, big, big things coming for Chase. I'm super excited to see him and you know see him in this SRT cart. It's a, it's a whole different ball game versus what he has. Uh, everything on this is all about lightweight and low friction, and it's just his cart he's got now is good. Do not get me wrong, but this thing here is a whole nother level. You gonna get that mouse? Where's that mouse at? Where's he at? There is definitely a mouse in here. Seen him already. Lucky is searching. Hey, I think he's over here. I think he's over here. He went that way. Yeah, he's over there. We get that mouse. We get that mouse. He's not up high, bud. Get that mouse. We get him. We get him. Yeah. He hasn't been wrong yet. He ain't, him and Daisy seen, a, seen the mouse yesterday right over here. And liked to have it come apart about 
knock the race car in half getting into it. But anyway, you're going to have to stay tuned to see what we're getting. I like keeping you in suspense. What are we getting? Late model, modified, sprint car, pair of hay dudes, street stock, cruiser. What are we getting? Boat? Mm -hmm. What are we racing next year? Well, that's a great question. And I will answer that for you on the next video. Yeah, I'm sorry to do that, but you're going to have to tune in to the next one. So we love each and every one of you. Be sure to hit that like button, guys. It helps us, uh, helps us out a ton. Watch for the new merchandise. Watch for the Nationator to come out strong with his new go-kart. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in helping us out and supporting us in any way, old number seven fans at gmail.com or comment below. If you want to get on that sponsor panel, let us know. Poet and didn't know it. All right, y'all. Love you. And we'll see you on the next one. I had a dream that I was gonna leave my own town with a six string on my back. Playing every bar that I could get my foot in. Play.